I don't think many people grasp just how serious this is. All we see is what the industries want us to see. We're talking about, effectively, the collapse of Earth systems. Hello? Hi, Mum. It's Tom. I've just got a quick question for you. Why did you raise me not eating meat? My name's Tom, and I've never eaten meat. But I can't seem to go a day without hearing from others about why they could never go vegan. Like vegans are malnourished. Climate change doesn't exist. Jeez, bacon. The food is bloody disgusting. B12, protein. Animals are there for us to eat. Are these reasons justified? I need to know more. I think there is this big misconception around you can't be vegan and strong. What are you going to eat? You go gym, where are you going to get protein from? I stood on the Olympic podium just five months shy of my 40th birthday. I need to speak to the experts. Do you think the public have any idea what goes on in free-range farms? In meat-eating cultures around the world, um, people learn to classify a small handful of animals as edible. Issues to do with the use of other animals, the use of women's bodies. Most people have this one-dimensional view of veganism as people who eat salads all day, which is totally wrong. Food has now overtaken other risk factors as being the biggest thing that drives chronic disease in the Western world. Rather than getting healthier, we're actually getting sicker. One in five people die because of an unhealthy diet. The dairy industry has convinced us that bone health is all about calcium and calcium is all about milk. I can't even articulate some of the things that I've seen. When I have nightmares now, it's the sound of those pig screams that I'm hearing. The biggest cause of ecological destruction. Humanity, technology and inventions have brought us into this situation. We can also reverse that. Nearly five million deaths were caused and related to antimicrobial resistance. <laughs> This is the greatest catastrophe humanity has ever faced. The worst experience of my life.